Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a basic humanoid meta rig. So we'll be using a simple human uh, model for this video. You can use whatever model you want. Just make sure that it's humanoid and the whole thing is just one mesh and not multiple and you should be good. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here I have appended a human model. I'll link it in the description if you want. So the first thing what we're gonna do is first we need to go to edit and then preferences and add-ons. We're going to be using an add-on called Rigify. Right here, Rigify. Make sure it's checked and we can continue. Okay, Rigify. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Shift A to add a armature. And now there's this human meta rig right here, right? A human meta rig. And you can see that it's really detailed. So you can try doing it after this video if you want, but just for the sake of today, we're going to be doing the basic version. So Shift A, armature, basic, and human right here. Basic human. So now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna scale it down and we're going to apply the scale. Okay. And with that done, you can start kind of moving the bones in edit mode. So before we do that, actually, let's go to the data right here and we're gonna open viewport display, this drop down right here. And you're gonna check in front so that you can see it even though it's inside the mesh. Okay, now let's go into edit mode and I'm gonna go to front view and I'm gonna press on this mirroring option on the top right right here so that it mirrors on both sides like this and it should be good. Uh, if for some reason you're having issues mirroring, make sure that the character is faced the right way, which is the negative Y. And I think everything should be fine. Okay, so with that done, uh, let's start editing. So pretty much everything works just like in normal mesh editing. Uh, well, not everything, but some things pretty much is like similar, like this um, dot right here. It's like a vertices and this is like a edge, but there's no faces, I guess. So let's try moving this down right here. And we're gonna move this out. Then we're gonna move this down. And I'm gonna move this right here. So, you know, good start. As well as that, let's also bring this in again so that it doesn't pop out like that. Okay, so the arms, uh, good now. Oh, let's actually bring this a little bit more inwards like that. Okay. And for the legs right here, the knees, we're going to move it outwards and we're going to kind of bring it down a little bit. So yeah, that's nice. And for the foot, we're going to select these guys and I'm going to rotate it on the z-axis. I'm going to bring it out like this. Now, mind you that everyone's going to have like probably different models. So you need to kind of adjust to your like situation. If it's T posing, unlike what I have right now, then you just got to adjust to that T pose, not bring it down. Okay. And I guess this should be good now. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay, this looks good. So let's go back into object mode and we're going to select the bones and we're gonna go back to the data right here, you see? And we're gonna go down to Rigify and we're gonna click on Generate Rig. And once you do that, you see you got a meta rig right here, the thing that we want to use today. Now, if yours are kind of like a little bit misplaced and stuff, uh, feel free to adjust it. Feel free to adjust it. Like sometimes if you didn't apply the scale at the beginning, you might have like scaling issues, but this should be fine now. And for this bone right here, you can pretty much just delete it or hide it. We're not going to use it anymore. So yeah. And now let's select the model first, then select the uh, rig and we're going to press control P to parent and then we're gonna go to with automatic weights Okay So let's go into pose mode for this guy now pose mode and there we go. That's your meta rig now I'll explain how to use it a little bit 
uh, but I won't be animating anything, I guess. So for the meta rigs, there's actually two types of rigging that it, it's got combined in this. So there's a thing called forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. I'm gonna just first talk about inverse kinematics. The inverse kinematics is basically, uh, for example, if you select this uh, red part of the hand right here and you move it, you see there's this one point which is this hand right here. If you move the hand, the rest of the arm follows like that, as you can see, which is pretty cool. And you can do a lot of things with it, which is nice. This works for all the limbs, as you can see. You just have to move the foot. So basically to explain um, the red, the red rigs, the red bones, you can see that these guys are also red. The red bones are for inverse kinematics. Okay, so now let's see. We have one problem with this in, uh, inverse kinematics is when you uh, when you kind of move it far away, it kind of stretches. So to fix that, you press N, and then you go down here, right? And then you're gonna lower the stretch. This is the amount of stretch that that uh, certain limbs gonna have. So if you lower it. Now that you move it, even if it's far away like this, your your mesh itself, it's not going to kind of stretch. But you, know, you can kind of tweak it a little bit if you want a little bit of stretch. It just depends on your situation. But now you need to do it for the rest of the limbs as well so that they all don't stretch. It's just depending on your case like that. Okay. So I just covered pretty much inverse kinematics. You can move it like this and kind of rotate it and stuff, which is pretty good. But now there's the second one that I talked about, uh, forward kinematics, which I think is more of the type of rigging that you guys are used to. So what we're gonna do is for this arm, select this arm, okay? And you're gonna increase this uh, IK to FK right there. Boom. So now this arm is a forward kinematic and not an inverse kinematic. So if you kind of uh, try to move this now, you see the bones don't move. It's kind of like a mode thing. You just kind of change it like that. This is now forward kinematics. So as you can see, these green parts is for forward kinematics. So to explain forward kinematics is like what you're used to, you know? You have some bones and you kind of parent the model to that bone and each area uh, each bone kind of dis distorts that certain area, as you can see. So we have this part, this part takes care of here, but there's nothing where if you like kind of move this hand, the rest will follow. It's more like a basic thing. So it's nice that, you know, this uh, meta rig thing has yeah, supplied us with both, both like inverse kinematics and forward kinematics. So you can do a lot of creative things with this. And you know these uh, yellow parts, it's not for a certain inverse kinematics or forward kinematics, it's just for both, it's like in between. It kind of uh, moves that certain area. And the blue part is like just also kind of yellow, but it's more detailed. And this purple one right here in the bottom is just for moving the whole thing if you want. So I pretty much just covered about the meta rigs. Uh, if you guys have made any like cool projects with this, please uh, send it in our Discord server. I'll link it in the description. And if you have any issues or anything, also uh, feel free to write a comment or just contact me through Discord. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.